Welcome, the War Chief of Light is back with another epic video. Hi, my name's Peebiggy, but you lovely people are more than welcome to call me Peebs. We're doing stuff a little different today, like way out of left field. Listen, we keep it nerdy here. That's not just Final Fantasy XIV. Today, we are talking about my first actual steps in the cosplay. So excited. But before getting into that, if you're into this sort of stuff, you like cosplay, you like gaming, you like Final Fantasy XIV, nerdy stuff, well, honey, you're home. Hit that subscribe button, because listen, we tend to do nerdy here pretty well. I want to just reiterate that I want to cosplay. I really, really want to cosplay. I wanted to it's something that even my husband's like yeah that, that's up your alley so it's been a dream for a bit i have worked with an old sewing machine trying to get it up and running and it costs a lot of money but it's not up and running so we put the dream on hold for a little bit and the goal was to learn to sew because sewing is really the foundation working with foam and working with weapons and armor comes a little later so in the meantime, I saved up some coin. I bought a lot of books. I've been reading a lot on the downtime to try to get into what comes next. How do you sew? How do you put garments together? How, why do they work that way? So a lot of that, a lot of like cosplay ideas and I got the sewing machine. All right, we are unboxing the absolutely awesome first step to cosplay learning and things. Yes, it's a sewing machine. Some of you guys may not know this part, but Singer is at least 150 years old. And even then, like, some of the old machines, like, you had to crank them, you had to use your foot pedal thing. It was like a balance. Like, it's weird. What? No, don't shut the door. Just be quiet. I can take the noise out, <laughs> remember? All right. So, it's got lots of uh, foam. Hold on, put that aside. Free beginner class, which who needs that? No, I'm kidding. We're gonna need that. 100% we're gonna need that. I'm an idiot. Instructions. Not complicated at all. Yes, we will be YouTubing these later. Papers, I don't know. I don't know. I'm laughing because this is really light. I mean light. This thing is stupid light. I have an old machine that is from the 70s and that fucker weighs about 70 pounds. This? 10? Maybe? Maybe? Yes, you need a pedal. Yeah. How cool is that? Dude, again, I'm used to running on a set from one from the 70s. So this is pretty cool. Even comes with a needle preset like that. Let's see what's in here. 25% off an iron. No, thanks. Go to Walmart for irons. Okay, listen, that's really cool. I don't know what any of these buttons do, but it looks cool. I see the little arm up and down. Uh, that's actually for needle threader, I think. You know, the fancy shit that no one else gets. Well, that's pretty neat. What do you all think? Let me know. 
Can't wait to start trying it and messing things up. More filming because I didn't realize there was more shit in the box. See? So you get a pusher or a holder. That's a holder for your thread bobbin. It goes up here. So me thinks, me thinks. We have a ripper, which we will be using a lot of. A couple extra feet. I don't know what the fuck that is. I think that's a foot. It says, hold on. So we've got a, that goes here, I think. We've got bobbins, which I have a good deal of money. That's fine. That, I think, goes here, and it keeps your thread in place. It does, that's how it works, perfect. Yep. These not stupid. I know some things. I'm not Jon Snow. Oh, we got a brush. It's not a ripper, it's a brush, are you? Brushy, brushy. Remember when that was a meme? Or am I that old? This is a, I don't know what the fuck that is. Needles, we like needles, extra needles, don't hurt anybody. More bobbins me dropping a bobby. Uh, that's a footie. Because they're called footies now. And some other extra shit, I don't know what it is. So yeah, there she is. She's purring. Now that I've gotten it out of the box and I've had a chance to play with it, one, it works. It works very well right out of the box. Like no exceptions, no ifs, ands, buts, maybes, bitch works which is more than I can say for my 50 year old machine, but you know. And it's easy to use. The instruction manuals are online. The pictures are better. The books that I have even go with this machine so I can learn even quicker. I even did my first project on it. You'll have to let me know if you guys want like little learning videos or watching me progress as I learn how to sew a little more. I'm gonna film my next project, two of them, just so you guys see, like, okay, she's learning. She's actually paid attention. Eventually, we'll get into cosplay. I've got some ideas, but I'm completely open to hear yours. I'd love to hear what looks like beginner cosplay to you. Let me know in the comment section down below. What should I try? What shouldn't I try? Are you experienced in cosplay? Do you like cosplay? This is the video for it. Let me know. And if you liked this video, give me a big old thumbs up. If you didn't, well, cool. Be honest with me. I'm a big girl. I can handle it. Bonus points if you let me know why. Feedback is the best way to improve. And yes, this is out of left field, but if you're into this sort of thing, you like gaming, you like Final Fantasy, you like cosplay, you like all kinds of nerdy stuff, or me, I don't know, hit that subscribe button. While you're down there, ring that bell. That way you'll get notifications every time I go live or upload, which, bitch, we do a lot. I am live right here three nights a week, and I upload at least a video a week, which, if we're being really honest, I do a lot more often than that. So content, we got plenty. All right. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for letting me share this new found hobby that I'm just so excited about. Have a legendary day, and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye, new machine. Yeah, I know. Grandma's probably going to tell you you're going to save me some coin. Just need to get this one repaired. Listen, not only are the stuff not online to help you with it, there's very few people that can repair those old machines. And finally, there are very few fucking videos on them. So you want to learn get a newer machine. They're easier, cheaper easy to repair, as long as it's got a metal body. Also, fuck threading a needle.